Hey everyone, welcome back to Flames Plays, and today we're continuing in the Spirits of Xanadu, or, or just Spirits of Xanadu. A Xanadu. And, uh, some lines in memory of the Great Omelette of 1983. In Xanadu did Solomon a stately omelette decree, with every meat that's known to man something from an unmarked can, and seven kinds of cheese. I didn't sleep right for days, CJ. Boom, equal B plus, omelette equals F minus. <laughs> so apparently somebody made an omelette, and it was not... Somebody made that omelette, and it was very meh, to the chagrin of many of their, their employees, or their co-workers, apparently. Now, there was a note over here as well, and I'm sure you want to check out Solomon's room. Solomon's birthday playlist, no disco allowed. My Generation, The Who, that's a good one. Frankie and Johnny, uh, The Ink Spots. I, I'm aware of The Ink Spots, don't really remember that show, or that song, actually. Uh, what I Say, Jerry Lee Lewis. Everybody's Going in Outer Space by the Ramones, Subterranean Homesick Blues by Bob Dylan, Little Jimmy Brown by the Browns, Deep Space Rider by Dead, uh, Led Zeppelin, Run Around Sue by Dion, Space Oddity Part 2. I actually really like David Bowie. I don't know if there's a Space Oddity Part 2. I mean, there might be, to be honest. I'm not really big into classic rock and stuff, but Flying Saucers Rock and Roll, Billy Lee Riley, Sympathy for the Devil, The Rolling Stones. No, that's a song. I actually like that song. A Look at the Lion, Jim Pederick Band, Brown-Eyed Handsome Man by Chuck Berry, and Twelve Gates of the City by Dave, bon, Dave Van Ronk. Okay. That sounds like a pretty good birthday playlist. I'm not sure. Oh, we can push the chair. That's good. Oh, we got some birthday cards. Uh, happy birthday, John's. I owe you one homemade cake. Happy birthday, Captain El Zao. Got a little spaceship. Wanted sombreros. Immortal defense. Aller. I don't know what that is. Okay, it's just the same over and over again. Okay. Not much in here, to be honest. I kind of figured there might be more. Some kind of like, you know, information about what's going on on the ship, but let's check out uh, Commander Zao's. Take a note. Remember to change closet code. Ooh. Book of the Book of Veils. Okay. Oh, we got a code. Oh, hey, that's some boobs. Um, all right. Let's not focus on that for YouTube too much. <laughs> I have never said that my channel is family friendly. I mean, they were artistic boobs too. They weren't like great boobs. They weren't human boobs, they were drawn boobs. So, and it, and it wasn't like drawn like, oh, okay, no, finally, I found what I was looking for. Win, okay, now 14, that's weird. Win in the 134, 40, 143rd year after the Hira, it was seen last in this, it was last seen in the skies. It said that all men will meet their maker but once, when their days in this world are over. But for Haran al-Din, the prince of Automata, it was once every seven years. For after this length of time, his wondrous mechanisms began to lose their force, and he would return to the Khazran, where, who had bought him, brought, built him, and who possessed the key that would restore his vigor. Ah, they called him the fourth marvel of the world. We may yet picture him as he flew home over Baghdad, like a bright star unfastened from the blue evening. The golden armor of his skin burnished as if a flame, the mirrored face in which kings and jinn had studied their reflections as impassive as ever. At journey's end, he arrived at his before his maker's hidden cave, placed a sesame seed into a crevice in the rock, waited for the tick of a tiny mechanism, and then a great fissure rumbled dolefully open to re reveal the house of the Chaos Run. Chaos Run. I don't know how to pronounce it, to be honest. A vast cavern lit with ancient lamps and full of such wondrous treasures as rock's eggs and giant something. Giant bottles of beer. Captain Lucy Zhao, 25th March. I have instructed Johns to place himself under immediate arrest in the brig. I am not fool enough to think he will listen. He has disabled the consoles, activated the security robots, is trying to set the ship on a course which is against my explicit orders. Possibly he has... I, I cannot. I will not. His act is selfish. He thinks only of his own survival. The virus is worsening. I know for certain we have all seen it. I cannot tell the half of what I have seen. It is a horror greater than... Solomon is still in his quarters. 
I could feel his panic as if it were my own. His voice is like Rose. Rose. Rose? Roses? It, it is as if all our minds were being churned together. No quarantine will be effective. I will do what is expected of me. So this is definitely an arrow out, made out of uh, screwdrivers pointing to this. And I guess we'll take the nav server data drive too. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it, but I want to check out Zhao's um, picture frame to see if we can find anything interesting in it. No, not really. Because I'm just wondering, like, maybe the picture frames have some kind of clue to them. Oh, we checked the kitchen already. This is all here. Let's do a quick save while we're here. Division data. Data save. Ooh. All right, so we checked out the bathroom. We checked all this stuff out. So I guess we would go up the upwards. This is actually really interesting. It's like a, it's like a thriller mis myth, uh, mystery in this game that I did not expect at all. Any robots? There's a dead robot's hat, the top part. I think we're okay. Shuttle. I we probably want to go to the shuttle bay. Which is actually this way? Yeah. I'll we'll go this way. We'll check out the shuttle bay because that's where our ship was. Since we got the drive back up. Shuttle bay. Yep. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. I just realized that the green screen went kind of nuts over there for a second. Contact headquarters. Let's see what happens. Connecting, no signal. Please try again later. Okay. Nothing going on. So that's this is, there's literally just three people on the ship apparently. Whoa, Kabuki mask. Hi, how you doing? Get the like, Big Hero Six. I actually really like that movie too. Ha! Didn't get us that time. So, where are we trying to go now? Is what I wonder. Probably not directly into the wall like that. I guess we'll go where we just shot that robot. Oh man, there's a lot of these suicidal. He's all. He's in our ship. He was in our ship. Okay. So, he, yep, they're just kind of phasing through a ship. All right, we're good. Let's get out of here now. Okay, can I can I get out of here? Nope, nope, does not appear to be able to be done right now. Hmm. Okay. Turn the lamp off. Oh. Play a tape. Okay, there's nothing came out of that for some reason. Ooh, a great. <gasps> Ooh, yay, a page. Blaze like a thousand suns, having been anointed by the handmaidens of Sharazard with certain precious oils, and he carried in his hands a gift to her. The wonderful mirror of truth, which would always show its beholder what would have happened had it not been consulted. Then, for a whole night, Haran al Din sat before the mirror and it showed him strange likenesses, which were in turn reflected by his own face, so that there was a flickering between them as, if, as of a flame in the wind. <laughs> o oh, night, we who dwell in the, in the desert of the world are not permitted to know such, of such things. Beneath our feet, only the countless grands of sand. Above our heads, the wild and sorcerous skies. The lives of men are as stars in the darkness, uncertain in brightness and in number. Just before the sun rose above the dunes, Harun al-Din made obeisance in his customary, then took the treasures he had won upon his back and continued his journey. He flew over the great cities, which in those, and 163, I don't know what that's actually supposed to mean, though. It looks like we can come down this way, but we can't go up that way. Um, huh. Well, I can't open up that great for some reason. Um, I can't get to these robots. Huh. 
All right, I guess we go back up. Check out this crate, I guess. Oh, this one thinks is a ramp. Where are we going? Going on an adventure, Charlie. Going to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Okay. Oh, we just ended up here. Where is here? I don't know. Drawers. Oh, great. We're going to have to oh, check all these out for stuffs. Vent covers, vent covers. I actually need to get some for my house. Nope, nothing here. No, 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 no. Zilch. Oh, we got another ooh, another data jar. That's good. It's actually really good. I think. Pew pew pew! Haha, <laughs> take that. That was I'm sorry, the light was like blinding me there. I must have knocked it too far off. Let's check out in here and see what we got. Okay, I built I blew up a robot there, so I'm not gonna continue down that way. There's the engineering office. Nope, not gonna deal with you. Lieutenant Cornell Johns. What is that wind chime sound I'm hearing? Why am I hearing a wind chime? We're in space. There's no wind in space. That's not how wind chimes work. Oh, we found out the kabuki mask. That, that's good. I think. I I could I could see it being a like a secret ending if you collect all the kabuki masks. I just don't know how many there are. Or. You know what's more likely? It's probably just an achievement. Hey, crowbar! I picked that up. Go Gordon Freeman on these robots. To be honest, that'd be a terrible idea. I had to get very close to be able to do any damage to the robots, and that's that's not that's not cool. Oh, not not the code I need. I gotta try to find the code at some point. Like that's what I was looking for on the back of the uh, on the posters in mean, everyone's rooms. Uh, can we? On these on online KV shortage. Can I take that offline? Okay. Nope. Nope. These are just all offline. So I need to bring power back up. I I don't I don't get that though. Because normally you would have like. Everything's offline, except for the, oh, the fence is locked. Actually, diagnostics fence locked. Can I reset it? No. No, it doesn't look like I can do anything there. Oh, here we go. Utilities. I need lights. I need to. I need another fuse, basically. The fuse will let me put the lights on, which I guess I want. I mean, I'm more interested, kind of, in just making sure that I can get the. Where is this? Okay, we came out. That's right. We came out here. I guess we go check out the bathroom. Engineering officer. That's John's. Yep. We've checked out everything in here, so we'll check out the bathroom, I guess. Boop. Go ahead and pee quickly. Check out the other. Check out the women's room. Hey, I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. Just trying to find uses. Nope. Okay. Okay. Then what do we do now? We need a code for there. It's not over here. Nope, not over there. Oh, here we go. 2283, maybe? I think that's actually February 2nd, uh, 83, but we can try 2283. 2283. 
Nope. Figured it wasn't going to be it. That's too simple. It's too easy. Alright. Reprogram. Reprogram survey droid for address drop path to accommodate new stabilizer wing. Okay. Investigate rewriting power loss in G shaft 3. Fix oven door. Test door. Override controls. Complete inventory. Drill maintenance tools. Pressure test. Shuttle bay doors. And move basketball hoop to safer position. Alright. Well, those codes don't look like anything we can use either because they, uh, they were, what you call it? They were, oh my god. Drawing a blank on the word. Um, there are two digits each. I mean, you need only four digits. So I guess we'll just head back over through the vents to this area. Let's see what we can find. Here's quarters and offices. I mean, maybe the offices. Oh, we've been in offices. That's right. Uh, research. If we check out research. Maybe there's something in here. Oh shit! He got he got really close. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Well, let's see, is there anything around here we could pick up? Can I build my own robot? It's not gonna blow up or attack me or try to kill me in any way, shape, or form. Can I just maybe just build a friend. Is it too hard to ask for a friend? Oh crap! What's this? Oh, I thought that was a robot. Uh. Bobby this can I maybe I can save one single JPEG? Alright, well, nothing in there. I really don't know which where I want to go. Let's check out the bathrooms. Some soap or something, I guess. Oh, um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. You you can continue pooping, robot! It's okay. I'm not gonna judge you, robot. I thought I was safe in the bathrooms. That was a lie. You're never safe anywhere. Ooh, I hear someone stomping around here. Oh! Oh shit! He, he opened the door. Fuck, I'm dead. Okay. Well, I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna wake back up in the med bay probably. Yep, yeah, there we go. Do I still have my shotgun? Oh yeah, I do. Okay. So we wake up back here. Not a huge deal. I just have to find my way back and, of course, find something I can do. Uh, 2457. I should try to remember that. Actually, I'm going to write that down. 2457. That might be the code for the room, but I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoy this. Ooh, audio light. We'll listen to that next episode. I hope you guys enjoy the series. Um, this is a really weird and interesting game that I've never been, I never knew about until recently. But if you guys do, please leave a comment down below what you think, or if you have a suggestion for you to play in the future, make sure to subscribe so you get updates, release new content, or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>